cool. Is this how it's going to come on, on the, the podcast? In. Yeah, there you go. And then... Is that how it's going to come on? Yeah, that could, yeah. That could be That's good, brilliant. Man. We should do that every time. I can't do it every time. Because because I don't know how to, yeah. I don't know how we did it. I, you, I, you could try. That's I could, I'll, I'll try. I'm just, I'm just saying try. But, hello. And sh- hello and welcome back to another episode of um, the Lack of Focus podcast. Uh, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a, a while. It's, it's been, a, been while. a minute. I don't even know what number we're on. I've got, Let's just throw out a number. Seven. I like seven. Maybe, maybe it's probably eight. A lot's right. happened since then. I'll fill you in briefly on what's happened to me. I got married. Yeah. Yeah. So that was fun for everybody. Yeah. Um, and kind of more importantly, I'm yeah. now a TikTok famous star. On t- famous on TikTok. <laughs> Don't say more importantly. Well, say like equally, if anything. E- well, yeah. she's gonna watch this. I'd be, I'd she's be, gonna. She's not gonna watch this. I, I think it's. I knew I was getting married for years. I, I didn't know I was gonna be a TikTok. It's still fresh. I never thought you were gonna be a TikTok like that, like star now. Bloody T- hell. Today I uh, what. By the time this goes out, I reckon because of my trajectory, I reckon it'll be on ten k by the time it goes out. Oh, is that, on, is that on, per month? I'm on nine. No, are you not talking figures? Are I'm on talking nine thousand five hundred followers, and it goes up by about two hundred a day. That's that's fairly significant, though. To be fair, but just feel better about yourself, anyone who's watching this, because if you if I have ever made you laugh doing this, not, yeah. him, <laughs> not him so much. He has nothing to do with it. <laughs> but if I, do you know what I mean? If I've ever made you laugh. You're not alone. Yeah, you've, other people. You've you've been validated. Nine thousand yeah. other people also exactly. find me brilliant. That's the professionals. That's 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 the industry. Having saying. said that, I am being crushed under the pressure of TikTok. Some, it's horrible. Let's talk about that. It's okay. Let's talk about that. Um, so, so this is the thing that, that I think that the world has moved out from people like for like 10, 20 years ago. You just generate like you would write something like yeah. a TV show. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Uh, you'd write something like a TV show and then you put it out and you spend time in it and then you put it out and it would get seen and people would be like, well done, that's really good. Yeah. Whereas now, the algorithms in every oh. social media um, platform, so it be YouTube, TikTok, all that, they're way more um, aligned or they favour rapid content. So, uh, yeah, like I know a couple of YouTubers that do like two, three videos a week. YouTube, they're quite long yeah. though, right? They're like yeah. half hours. But what they do is they'll, they'll just do, the way that they fill the content is they, um, they'll do reaction videos. So they'll, they'll film themselves watching and reacting to another video that could have oh, been viral. So for instance, uh, you're friends with these people. I'm not friend. I wouldn't say friends, okay. but I know these, yeah, yeah. Um, right. One of them, one of them, one of them's really nice. And the thing is actually, I was about to call them lowest common denominator scum, and it's not actually yeah. their fault because they are feeding the algorithm. And if you, for it's sure, like, it's yeah. like you have a choice. You could be like, oh, I don't want to do TikTok because the algorithm yeah. is fucking impossible to keep up with. But like, you you can like Gar- I don't yeah. know if you guys know who Gary V is. I love Gary V now, mm. and he's like, you can't. You're actually not in a position to ignore TikTok. You're not. A, I know. Like, I, n- I need to. I need no, to. No, not 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 you personally. Yeah. The, the greater public, like yeah, but you, me and me personally. Luckily for you, you'll be on the coattails of my inst- on my TikTok. Well, yeah, because we're, making, yeah, 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 we're yeah. making a show together. We are making he, a show together. He got yeah, yeah. me early. Yeah. <laughs> early investment. Early investments. Easy for you to yeah? say. So yeah, well, it's not. Ah. Oh, so. So you're the, don't worry about you, boy. You just focus on the glasses and the cheekbones. I'm not white. I'm just you not just white at all. You just there. keep looking by me. <laughs> I'm very relaxed. I'm Turn very up, relaxed. make a few gags, and fuck off. You, I'll, I'll put in the legwork. Yeah. The irony is, he does all the legwork. I, I, do, I do no. I do not. I couldn't even get the fucking thing to focus. Oh, speaking of legwork, Go and on. it is related. Uh, have we set time? Ah. Mm. And there was me thinking you were going to make an Oscar Pistorius joke. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. And that's not funny. That is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Crumsy, he, he's a convicted criminal. Yeah. Um, how long do I put it? I reckon uh, thirteen minutes from now. We're going to be a bespoke on thirteen. Here we go. Thirteen minutes from now. That's yeah, quite a long time. Well, that's probably, yeah, but we got twenty minutes, and then thirty minutes, the alarm goes off. We can wrap up, and then sure. second, second, uh, more important half. So um, the, the, the TikTok thing is is genuinely really cool. But I, so what I do is I do um, my niche is is I do imagine conversations within the Harry Potter universe because yeah. I find Harry Potter in lockdown. I couldn't sleep. I was on a lot of um, melatonin, mm. and so my wife. <laughs> That's yeah, bad, isn't it? Such a silly. It sounds have you, have you silly. Used it yet? Nah, nah, that's the third time I've ever said it. She got me an eye mask, which had headphones built in, mm. and so I listened to Stephen Fry listening to Harry Potter, oh, right. and whilst taking melatonin, I'd literally wean myself off the melatonin. Mm. So now Harry Potter acts as I know you know this. I'm telling this for them. Yeah, 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 acts, yeah, 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 yeah. Acts as like a, a sleeping aid for me to go to sleep. 
which means I know Harry Potter very, very, very in, in like intricate detail, ridiculous detail, mm. uh, and because head. of a Potterhead and because of my comic timing, uh, I won't do that again. No, no, do that again. It's- is um, I, I make jokes out of it and people listen nine but nine back well you heard the numbers nine thousand five hundred probably nine hundred undeniable numbers under we're talking big undeniable numbers that's that's ten thousand people that are like I'll follow that I'm ninety away from Wembley <laughs> so that's actually a good point is it hundred thousand Wembley I think Wembley's ninety thousand I got my maths wrong is it eighty thousand oh eighty thousand then. That's even more obtainable. Even in, a, in a, I reckon a couple months. And there's so much fucking shit on TikTok, and I don't like. So I tell you what, this is, it. this is this is it. So people subscribe to something. Let's let's say, I, and the only reference I have is my friend that's yeah, 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 YouTube. The, yeah. So he, I, I, he, like genuinely, he is a very very talented um, mm. comedian. Like mm. genuinely, like when he when he puts his mind to like writing something, mm. uh, I've been in one of his one of his things. He, like, he's pretty good. Um, but that gets when he puts it once he put, puts out like something long, long form, like twenty no, minutes long. No, no, well, people watch it and they're like, "Ah, oh, that's good." But the the highest hitting videos are like when he's reacting to whatever. Yeah. And he's got a little daughter, and he's got money. He's got literally that's his career. So yeah. it's like, well, I need to make money. I've got to get after it. So yeah, so he's just getting after. You it. do have to sort of. Well, it's the same sort of concept that like, do both. If we're, we're doing both. We are sort. Of, I'm trying to do both, but like if you want to have uh, my my videos on TikTok weren't taking off because they were three minutes long. And mm. then the really? out- three minutes. They were, they were three minutes, and they weren't taking. That's enough. too long. Too long. Way too long. Well, way, so what are these way, people way, doing? Way, way too time? long. Way too long. But now I do like two and a half minutes. I've weaned my fa- my fans. Yeah, well. my fans. They'll be seeing this as well. Po- probably. There must be a crossover. Seeking me you out. You think there'd be a crossover? Uh, and they, but and so I've weaned myself back onto longer videos, and it's okay. But like my friend, I have a friend called Lucas on TikTok who's got like a million followers, and his stuff. Like, he's a talented actor, right? Yeah. And I, maybe I'll offend him by saying this. Some of his stuff <laughs> is is just throwaway nonsense. And they're like, it, no, but he, and he must he must know. He, he's the one laughing because he was interviewing Tom Cruise the other day. Oh, on, oh. On the, on the red carpet, yeah. It's fucking wild. Oh, his, life, only, his, life, got, his life got crazy off TikTok. We've only got Pierce Brosnan. Yeah. He's still not turned up yet. I mean, as well, like, we, we like he said he's cancelled me. Do you know what? Twice. Do you know what? I, you know my my phone was going off when you came up. Do you know what video I was watching? And you inter- well, you rang the doorbell. Yeah. It was a video on Piers Brosnan behind the scenes on Goldeneye. Brilliant! I swear to God, that's what I was doing. That's good. It's good to know you do your research for these. Yeah, I don't just yeah. turn up with yeah, an idiot. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> really um, really. What else do we need to discuss? Um, I, yeah, I think yeah, the TikTok thing was a good thing because that's new. That's a new thing, a new development. Another new development. Uh, and do we want to get into it this half or the next half? You made the rules, man. I've made the rules. Yeah. So we are in the middle now of producing. Oh yeah. <laughs> production. I don't know what that is. I'll keep doing it. A production of our own TV show that we wrote. I know that the keen-eyed and keen-eared among you that have been following the uh, the Lack of Focus show and it is a show for well since the uh, since its inception. Uh, we'll note it. We'll, we'll know that um, we have a TV show. It's been written. Yeah, uh, and we struggled because uh, you didn't want to fund it. You wanted to watch, you know, Mrs. less, Mrs. less than th- boys. less than three minutes of, uh, of a video. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Um, people don't want to watch, uh, you know, half an hour. I, I, I know good. morons off of off of TikTok who have got their own TV shows off of TikTok. How crazy is this? That's pretty mad. And what we're doing is we're doing we're hedging our bets. We're getting me yeah. famous on TikTok and writing a TV show. It's been it's been six years, right? That's, yeah. Six years of, of effort for yeah. this TV show. Yeah. Um, it's going to be very good. Um, I know I'm, you know, I've got skin in the game, uh, as it were. But no, it is. Um, but the exciting thing is we're in the middle of developing it. We didn't know what we were doing. We don't know what to do with it. I'm learning this more and more and more. Yeah. Yeah. That actually no one knows what they're doing. Yeah, but we did have we have two very lovely producers that come on board that are. Uh, they do know what they're much done. harder workers than we are. Way harder. They like I figure that out. Put in the effort and figure stuff. that. Out. I they, used they've to, got. I used to think that you were on top. of I used to think like, oh, no. Harvey knows what he's doing. No. He's a real go getter. Like he's gonna really like just steady the no. ship here. Know how the. Like, know how financing works and like all that stuff. <laughs> no. You not a clue. No. So the, what I do, right? This is the key thing. For this is any advice that I can give anyone out there that is thinking, I want to work really hard. I want to make money. I want to do anything. I want to you know whatever. Get really good at sounding convincing so all you have to do in any meeting you're ever in mm. just say things <laughs> with conviction doesn't really matter what they are and the more vague the better right so just go in and be like I don't think that's going to work it's too inanimate 
<laughs> shut, uh, also, another key thing, shoot people down. <laughs> <laughs> shoot people down right but offer no real suggestion just be like I don't think that's actually what the market is saying at the moment uh, Peter <laughs> Carol uh, yeah Peter if you want to just that's not do you know what I mean? Time's, time is money and we're running out of time do you know what and you're uh, yeah that's what I'm saying I just call, have a go at people I call that I call that the Vivi at drama school yeah. Waste of time that was. Probably. Waste of time, yeah. Well, yeah <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Yeah. If only they knew. If only they knew. Uh, oh my god. You can't, I can't think of a bigger waste of time than going to drama school. Right? <laughs> In this day and age, I cannot think of a, of a worse way to spend your time uh, as, no, although, as a young creator. Although, I although, can't think of one. Uh, just to, just to, uh, to back, piggyback on that, this is one, this is one, right? This Go is on. one. Um, I've got an acting gig. Uh, and I've got rehearsal for an acting gig next week. Sure. And it's like a ballroom dancing scene. Sure. And they're like, can you ballroom dance? I was like, yeah, can I? Can you? No, I can't. Oh. I've never done. Never once done it. Well, I did it at drama school. That's what I'm saying. So that. So if. So however, if I'd been to drama school. No, however, care. however, if I was called to that set, and yeah. it is quite a big set, by the way. Yeah. Should we tell them? I can't. I can't. Oh. I'm, I'm not allowed to announce it. Oh shit! It's know, a big it's job. Right yeah. And uh, if I got called to that set, amongst all those fucking people, if we do it by accident, I'll just and, be and they go, oh, you're, you know. You you were drama school. You don't. Mm. I don't have a fucking clue how to ballroom dance right now. But I you sh- could. You, but you, I mean, you've got muscle memory. Do you know what I mean? I really, you could. If I, I said really do don't. a pirouette right now. Oh, pirouette! Yeah. Immediate pirouette. Yeah. I don't. What is that's ballroom not, dancing? That's now? not. That's <laughs> not anywhere near. What's ball- ballroom dancing? If you went to ballroom dancing and you thought, don't worry, I, I know how to pirouette. I'm going to nail this. That's what I was going to do. You would be oh. escorted off the set. I think you're broken, man. Shit. I think you're a show off, actually. Yeah. Because po- po- ballroom dancing, they they, yeah. they can teach Great Danes to ballroom dance. What, what I was going to do is they I was going to turn teach up. a great. Take it from me, you cannot get a live animal. What I was going to turn, I was going to turn up to to make sure that people I knew people to make sure people knew what I was doing. I was doing and had a bit more reassurance. I was going to turn up to rehearsals in the outfit, so like flares and a sombrero jacket. I don't think that's when that the the, the show set at all. Yeah, but for for oh no, that's some bro, that's salsa dancing. That's what do people wear ballroom? The, the high trousers though. Normally, I've got that. normally they'd wear something like a like a black tie, black tie, white tie, white tie. It is per- it is a period piece, but it's way before that period, and there's like goblins. So it's not. Even I new. would recommend you watching. And this isn't just because Harry you know, Potter I dance. Used, I used to look like it. No, that's shit. That's a part is it not of very me. good? The um. The the dance scene from A Knight's Tale 2001. Oh, that's a good movie. It is a great movie. Actually, no, gen- no, genuinely, a that's a good, really fucking they, good movie. I'm going to sound like an old person here. They don't make films like that anymore because that film wasn't there to like break the box office weekend. It wasn't yeah. there to like fucking redefine cinema. It was a good, Just class. fucking yeah. cool movie with a good plot and three really and like definitive mid- fucking fucking sections of that. Movie. And like and like mid level budget as well. Yeah, like, I, I can't yeah. imagine it was like 100 million pounds. But you, no way, bro. It was no probably what like six mil. Mm, more? probably more like a 15 20 million they but don't I mean, get made anymore they do not make 20 yeah. million dollar films anymore they just doesn't happen. um but our show again it's probably going to cost a bit slightly Sli- a bit less than that slightly less than that um i'm putting, i mean i again we don't know what we're doing really we don't know how to value the budget or anything so what we do is we trust our lovely producers yeah. to sort that out yeah. and what we do all we're in charge of is just being really good in front of the camera and putting together a cast Done that, which we've done, which we've done, and they're all brilliant as well. That we can't, had a, you don't even have any any idea how good the cast is. We, really. had, a, we had a table read. <laughs> a table read for um, you non folk out there is exactly what it sounds like. You go and sit around a table, and everyone acts, but without moving. Which ideally, ideally, yeah. is how I would act all the time. That's jumping. Yeah, the I would. movement is so fucking lot. Yeah. Oh, find your light. Oh, stand. Well, that's the thing. Hit, I, hit I your look, marks. I look quite natural now, but if I was to go on, show them. Stand up. Show and how, like, show what how, my arms? Show how do weird I, you look. Yeah. This. Yeah. Behind the back. That's too. That's too much. The weirdest thing ever. S- side. Here's a tip. Hands if, on you, hips. if you ever want to do, if you ever want to do acting really well, right? Sit down. No, 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 no. Do the exact same lines whilst. Doing up your shoelace. It's why Brad Pitt eats. Or do something. It's why Brad, Brad Pitt. Yeah, eats. do something. Yeah. Brad Pitt became a good actor, but like it, he wasn't a good actor. Not early like, he on. He was just ridiculously good looking. So <laughs> and that helps, obviously. But yeah. if you do an action whilst you are acting or talking the lines, yeah. you just look more 
more real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, we, I lost my train of thought there. We were talking about the show. We are talking about the show. And table said, read. The table, table read went, in my opinion, really, really badly. And yeah. that's fine. It's supposed to. Because the thing is, as Gary Vee always says, along, I'm going to... I'm gonna Go on. Um, sort of misquote him. Uh, a, <laughs> a, 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 a... Something... A table read that goes badly in real life is a thousand times better than the table read that went brilliantly in your head and never happened. So what I discovered cool. at our table read I love that. is that like, yeah, we did it and we had to kill, not kill, but like 15% of our jokes, say, needed to either be just like fucking shorter. Yeah. If you're a footballer, uh, stay with me here. I am. Sometimes in football, you beat the player and then you try and beat the player again, right? We were telling a joke and then going... Let's tell that joke again within the same scene, and you just need to do it. The joke has been made. Fucking move on. And you hear that. Around, that's a really yeah. That's yeah. That's you hear that around it, yeah. a, an actual an actual um, like table writing room, a writing yeah. room, and you're like, "Fuck, we've done that with like fifteen percent of the jokes because we write it in this room, going off each other really, really, really quickly." Yeah. So that was and also uh, and also I think with, with you and I we've got a constant need to be like let's make each other laugh so yeah. like we'll just try and push yeah, into exactly. that a lot more than and actually we, we the story to... had been told the thing that forward this you got a forward plot you got yeah. like and it's only once you've tried to like write your own show that you realise two things one how genius the greats really are oh yeah right oh, yeah and two how fucking easy it is if you wanted to just to write. A, a shit sitcom. Like it, if you wanted to do if you literally follow the bottom of the barrel stuff, it's, really, it's actually really easy. easy. It is really, really For easy. sure. Um, yeah, but I, I think I think all the people that we love hold themselves to such a high standard. They're not yeah. going to ever really put out like just a. Eh. And the thing is, you can't like get get again Gary Vee. I can't say enough about this guy. I like this guy now. You got I, I, so I, I great. Wanted, I want it. I want He was like um, some good tips. You like? Oh fuck! No, this is not Gary Vee. This is actually. Um, I'm listening at the moment to Before and Laughter by. Um, Fucking what is his name? Ha 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 ha. That could be anyone. No, no, it's his laugh. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Carr. Yeah, uh, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time's gone off. Five minutes or whatever. Oh, yeah. well, actually, we've got two minutes. Fine. Before it cuts. Jimmy off. Carr says, you know, critics are good. You need you need critics because yeah. good ones can actually really really help and and strive your way. For sure. Critics yeah. don't have anything to say. Just being fucking cunts. They're useless. But you can never let your your critic, your own critic yeah. or a critic, into the rehearsal room. I hundred percent agree. Po- yeah. And I, I do, I do that all the fucking but we, time. But we, we use we use critics, we use critics all the time in terms of. I know critics that are a bit with skin in the game, but like, like your wife. Yeah. Like like even in the best man speech, like I, yeah, I meant yeah. it, like like she is a barometer. Yeah. That we use. And she's been a f- phenomenal one. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I've got other ones that, like my friend Matt, that's, that's excellent. Um, I think Matt and Alex are actually quite similar character types in the sense that mm. I don't think they're saying like, they'll never be like that isn't funny. They'll be like, I don't mm, really get that. You could do, yeah, I don't understand that. That's not yeah, funny. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Exactly. I don't understand why that's funny. Then I explain it. They go, Oh yeah, you are the best. <laughs> it's, yeah, you are fucking brilliant. Yeah, you are the best. Uh, thank you for explaining it because yeah. all the jokes. It's good if you explain a joke. It's always um, good to explain a joke. Yeah. Should we? Move into the next section of the Wrap that up. show. Play Wrap that whatever up. advert you sorted out for this I don't week. Know. Do you know? I'm probably uh, just going to put like some clips of explosions. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Did you enjoy the messages? Uh, again I think they're probably just going to be explosions enjoy the messages I don't know I simply don't care enjoy them at this point uh, <laughs> um, go on no I have, I have nothing to say oh fine uh, I was going to talk about um, again I just want to talk about my show and your show yeah, 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 yeah I mean yeah, I think yeah. that's uh, that's what they want to know as well. that's what they are desperate they're thinking Oh, like what? Tell me, tell me more about what it's like behind the scenes of a, yeah. of, a, of a of a show being made. But coincidentally, that is sort of what the show is. Right. Yeah. About. So the idea of the of the show is um, two writers. Two writers are given the opportunity to make their film, exactly. and it's a film that probably has the budget of around a million pounds, and it is yeah. set in twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. Yeah. Well, but, but but what year is that? When is Do you know that? what I mean? Also, is that we before? Can't... Is that after? Also, we've said that Matt's got married. 
right? And the, you know, the keen eye, the keen eared among you, the keen brained mental about around of you might be able to date that. But what if that's not true? We're just spinning illusions. We're spinning illusions. You don't know that that's uh, that's a. So anyway, yeah, TV show. It's about <coughs> set in the modern day. How about that? The point the is, day. in the modern day, the films for a million pounds don't really exist anymore. You need it's not mm. a thing. So if I Matt was going to go and do a movie for a million pounds, I would say to myself. You know that's that's not going to get a cinema release. Yeah, and I'm going to do it for the experience and, and yeah. my showreel. It, but that's not going to be my home home run. You know, this I, hate, isn't... I fucking hate that. Though. No, it sucks. Listen, it sucks, but it's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Because of cunts like me flocking to TikTok, but whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. it, so, but these two guys making their show, they're they're dated and they they still are stuck in like 2004 when films like. Uh, films that I love, like Never Let Me Go and um, Layer Cake, and films that did launch Don't say stars. I do like remember me. But I know it's not, it's the, same not the same. It's not. No, it's got Pierce in it. Yeah, yeah. But it's like people. It launched people like Tom Hardy, Daniel Craig, um, Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Um, what's her fucking name? She's a brilliant actress in Drive. I really like her. Oh, Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan. Although what she, movie did, was she, she did an education first, but then really never let me go. Made her like <coughs> like critically nominated. I don't think I've ever <coughs> seen Never Let Me Go. Well, you need to. It's so I, the, fucking good. The man. one that the the <coughs> one that I, I get. Kira Knightley's good in it. I get it confused with another movie. What's the one that I get it confused with? Uh, because the, the, the title is the same the one with Army Hammer and um, Timothy Chalamet Call Me By Your Name Call Me By Your Name Another similar sound sounds like two commands never Got let one. me go Call Me By Your Name one, what one do you one. want yes. David <laughs> like give me a like what do you is it is it to never let you go or Call Me By Your Name to be fair it's not really their fault they, their films were you know, over a decade apart from each other and different directors and different cast team, and location, different, different team different everything should change the name either way do you know what I mean I don't want I don't like it is what I'm saying Dif- never let me go never on oh, what happened to Hard Target with Jean-Claude Van Damme? Hard Target. Easy. You don't confuse that with anything. <laughs> what, what are you confusing Hard Target with? Nothing. Um, Steven Seagal. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? Steven Seagal movies. I don't know what happened. Like, they're, all, they're all absolutely <laughs> tosh. They're all so shit. But every, every movie lines up with... The, okay, I'll bring up the hand. Wait, wait, wait. For some reason, some it's either him or someone in his team is saying, well, the, the movie title has to rhyme, it has to fit in with Steven Seagal is. <laughs> and then the movie title. <laughs> honestly, look, look, honestly, it's unbelievable. No, honestly. <laughs> so, yeah. like, is a hard target? Yeah, it, it, well, not a hard target and a hard target. It's, look at it, look at the state of him. Yeah, sure. Look at the state of him. Look, you can't even say, oh, look, he just looks like, he looks like he's made out of hot bread and butter pudding. Uh, hang on, wait. So, his, here, wait. This this only is funny now if I can bring it up within the next ten seconds. But yeah, so his okay. So Steven Seagal is above the law. <laughs> yeah. Steven Seagal is hard to kill. Steven Seagal is marked for death. Steven Seagal is out for justice. Steven Seagal is under siege. Steven Seagal is on deadly ground. <laughs> why have they done that? Who? Uh, what? Why? Like for marketing? What Steven Seagal is? Steven Seagal was. That is fucking brilliant. It's ridiculous. That's the kind of thing that you should have brought to this podcast months ago, Harvey. I know. Well, I kept that in the back pocket. That's such... Yeah. Well, I, well, I, yeah. That's <laughs> I'd love really... to say that it was strategic, but it absolutely wasn't because there's no method to this podcast. Let's get him on the show. Oh, oh and I'll send him a text. Is he up so much? I'll send him a text. He's probably, he's probably in Russia now, isn't he? I don't know. He's still got the ponytail? Yeah. Dear Stephen, <laughs> have you... Got, got still got the ponytail. If so, don't want you on. Don't want. Don't, don't want. want, don't want it on. probably stinks. Yeah. Just, um, just, just quickly back to our show. Yeah. Go on. Uh, I think I got to the point where I was saying that a, a million dollars budget. These boys make it the fictional characters that we play. They think they're going to be um, doing this film for a million pounds, and they think it's their big break. They think they they've signed good on to hunting. do Good Will Hunting yeah, yeah, yeah. or like like this this thing's going to launch them. And that's just not the case. The rest of the cast and the rest of the crew are like a bit more hardened by it, and they're like, "Oh, mate, this isn't. That's not what this is." Yeah, what saying, yeah. um, and the boys rock up to a set, thinking they're going to have a trailer, thinking they're going to have you know runners everywhere. There are a few runners. There's runners on everything, but they're not. They're not at their beck and call. Writers on movie sets, in my experience, 
not visible. It, it changes if you're like on Breaking Bad and you're Vince Gilliam or something. But in reality, you're not really that important. You've sold your script. You said thanks very much, and you kind of fuck off and you come at the premiere and you go, "Hello, everyone. We wrote it." And they go, "Okay." And if it was shit, you're like, "Ah, just you just don't changes. Come. You just don't." They mean. made a lot of changes. And, go, oh, they and if it's brilliant, it. and if it's brilliant, it's all your work. It's like what I did in Greed. Yeah, I just say they cut me oh, out. Yeah, I was yeah. in every fucking. I but they did. The, well, they did. They did. They did. Not, well, they didn't cut you out of everything, but they they cut you out of like all the like stuff that you did that was brilliant. For their, some their mistake then, was telling me that that it was unscripted and that I was mic'd up at all times because I just shoehorned myself into every scene. <laughs> so whoever listen, whoever did edit that film, yeah. come aboard because yeah, we could help you. I mean, that, I mean, you could help us. You're brilliant. You sound like a very because I was editor. I was every. Asa Butterfield played my brother in that film, and every scene in Mykonos, the film set in Mykonos, yeah, 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 yeah. I am next. I'm, I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> you are, boy. What, oh, what are bro. We? We're bro, brother. Yeah. We're brothers with Coogan. Like, yeah. everything. And they cut me out. And they did a great job of it. I, no, um, they didn't, because that movie was not. Nah. It didn't do very. It didn't do brilliantly. But I think it would have done better if. If you were in more of, they'll it. request once. I once we do our show, they'll be going. Oh, oh, I said, now there must be a director's cut. Director's cut. Oi, oi, oi! What's his name? Winter Winterbottom. Winterbottom. Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. Dig out your. Dig out. You've probably got a, a reel of a reel of um, film. You know what? The like, thing is, I, want, can... I want to blame someone. He's such a nice guy. He's in, yeah. He's meant to be lovely. Yeah. He's a and lovely he's pretty guy. good. And Coogan's a lovely guy as well. Lovely. Yeah. Someone out Someone's there. Someone's to blame. Look, someone probably. I'll tell you who it was. It's a producer. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Except ours. Ours are. Ours are lovely. Chef's kiss. Ours are lovely. Chef's kiss. Um, so anyway, again, sorry. Back to the old TV show. Going on they, they, they are the boys. These fictional boys arrive to set and they start making these ludicrous demands and they think they are in the prime of Hollywood on this kind of small indie British movie. And chaos ensues and they squander the chance of a lifetime. Hmm. And we always thought it was funny. And now other professionals have told us that it's funny. And it's again, again, um, professional people that that more, have worked on like big things, big things. And they and they and they're telling us they're like not That's, worked on things like how I worked on greed. Genuinely, no, genuinely worked, worked, on, worked on really huge, genuinely yeah. had you know. And they and they're saying to us, pointing at my face and then your face, you too. It's rude in a way. They're going, it's, yeah, it is a bit, it's a bit yeah, yeah, brilliant, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Uh, so you know who can contest. The professionals. Uh, what well, that's my rule on on every everything I do in my life. Leave it to leave it to professionals. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. And like then, for example, yeah. my bike got fucked up a couple nights ago. Did I try and fix it myself? Did you? Did fuck? I? Did I fuck? Yeah. I gave it to the professionals. And they sorted it with and a minute. And now it's fixed. Yeah, exactly. Cost so, you a few bob. That does insinuate that our show was broken and the producer came and fixed it. No, 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 no. Which is what we needed was someone to be like, oh yeah, that's great. Uh, I tell you what, I tell you what, what we needed. needed. A pacemaker. Not not in your heart, like when you're running a marathon. Yeah. Pick. Someone to like run next to you. Just, just keep just it up. Be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand me water. Keep this, yeah. Hand me water. Hand me the water. camera's on me, I'm the star. I'm the I'm Paula Obviously, Radcliffe, yeah. you know, and I'm, I'm not know, when fuck. she's shitting in it. On the I side, think she just though. pissed herself, didn't she? What again? <laughs> no, not on in. Did she really shit? Herself? She shat. She was like diarrhea out of the side of the, on the side of the. You all saw it. She you w- can pull it up she, now. She, she, wasn't at, she wasn't at the Jubilee, was she? They let her go. I wasn't at the Jubilee. Were you not? Well, I was in Portugal. Sorry, it's very unlike you. I know. You're you know, being I'm royalist. Yeah, no, I am a royalist. I, know, yeah. I like the royal family. I, don't, I quite like the royal family. I don't, I, I don't really. Um... I, look, I like the royal family, but I think if you go down, if you go down, I to the people, parade, yeah, it's, it's a bit, weird, it's a bit much, isn't it? Yeah. I, actually said to, I, said to, I said to Alex on the morning of the Jubilee, I was like, "No, what are we going to do today." I was like, oh, you know, I might, I might take the bike down to uh, to the mall. It'd be quite nice. Have a little ride around, see the festivities. She's like, "Are you fucking broke?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be closed you idiot, off, man. You yeah. fucking idiot. And then news bulletins at the bottom of the thing and be like, uh, a few people have been arrested for trying to enter onto the mount. And she's yeah. like, that would have been you. Yeah, I, was, I had my helmet on. I was she's like, calling out the rabbi. Is there any way I can get this announced? She's, she's, like, really quick. How <laughs> soon does he. Oh, idiot. <laughs> oh, he showed his hand early. Idiot. Uh, but yeah, you didn't do that. Didn't do that. So that's what the show's about. That's the key message of the show. Um, and there are listen, there are twists and turns, there's surprises, there's uh, there's Hygiene. a lot of laughter, there's, high, there's all sorts. Yeah, there's yeah. all sorts going on. You'll find out when you watch um, it, and you will watch, it and you will have to, yeah. because we want a second series. Well, um, look, either look, two things are going to happen. Either 
the show gets picked up and it's forced down your throat by hopefully Disney Plus, Hulu, not Netflix. BBC. BBC. BBC Channel 4. Not Channel 4. I can't have an advert in my show, bro. It's mad. Yeah, they do do adverts still, don't they? It's mad. Even Staff, they do they, you know what? The Staff Let's Flats, the second season, they, the they butchered the opening credits and the opening credits was something that was so genius by Jamie Dimitri. Very, very, and they're very, very funny and they butchered it, so no Channel 4. See, what I Look did at was, me saying no. So what, I, what, pick and choose what, what I, network. What I did was... Go on. I didn't watch it on 4OD I just downloaded it illegally and his, 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 take me away here's another fun joke It what's it's actual name what's Channel 4 streaming actually called it's not called 4, four on demand is it it's called 4 it is 4 on demand no it's not it's called all 4 and we discussed this the marketing team at Channel oh, 4 oh we have discussed this everyone should be fired because yeah, get, everyone get is calling get that fucking out. streaming site get 4 OD get out which is a better name Way better name. All four. Well, I've remembered four. All, yeah. all, 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 all four. four. All, all four. four. All. Your lips stay the same. All four is stupid. Four OD. Yeah. Bang. All four. Four it just sounds on like the order some On the horrible, uh, Like, I fucking... Butchered it. Just octopus dish. Butchered it. Yeah, awful. Awful. All four. Uh, all <laughs> Four OD, four OD. Yeah. Lovely. OD. Yeah. O, maybe OD. They ah, got rid of that. Just realised that. No one wants to trigger overdose. Um, any, can't, anyone can't trigger anyone these days. Can't trigger anyone mm. except I tell you who. And this will go on maybe for a, a bit while. Uh, mm. Jared Leto. Ah, oh, because right? Fuck. No, because right? Right? We in the last in the last uh, show um, we talked about episode. We talked about Jared Leto, didn't we? We talked about um, how his was that new... one with with Matt here. No, the last no, we did. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the one, well, pre- a previous, a previous sh- episode show, yeah. episode sh- show. We talked about Jared Leto, what, didn't we? Um, and I Such and I told nice. you in in in, um, in one of my lectures uh, that, and you learned. We that, again, we've been over this. That he is a moron. Yeah. Probably. I I don't want to libel anyone. I I reckon he's a nonce. He's probably a nonce. He's probably a nonce. Nonce stands for, by the way, not on normal courtyard exercise because is that real if you were a rapist if you, you were a you kiddie be. fiddler if you were someone nasty like a nasty piece of work and you were in jail you, you weren't allowed out on normal exercise on court because they'll fucking kill you and so that's why you were called a nonce brilliant, nah, brilliant. little information there and if you've made it this far into this episode that's your reward slagging off Jared Leto and that slagging off Jared Leto so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and yeah go 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 so he can't, he, he can't get it enough he can't get it enough right so not only did he do the shit, uh, yeah, he was shagging on the world, but under under age. Oh, he shagged he? probably loads of them. He's yeah. disgusting. He's yeah. an absolute repellent man. Uh, he's an absolute. <laughs> he really means re- it. Reprehensible. He really yeah, means I it. I fucking dislike the man. <laughs> um, but so his in the last episode, we we're talking about uh, how they used our bat 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 uh, bat radar, you know, for for sonar. Right, yeah, idiots, Just idiots. Uh, and then the movie came out. It sunk with that fucking did, trace. Did, did it? Did it not do, only did it, did not it do well. Not only did it sink with that fucking trace, it was so hated that they became it became a meme online, right? A meme because people were taking the piss out of it. Did. People were saying it's morbid time, <laughs> right? <laughs> that was the hashtag. It's morbid time, right? Terrible. And then loads of memes, loads of memes. And then some studio executive at Sony were like, "Oh, Morbius is trending. We should probably." Spend loads of money and put it in the cinema re- again. Re- re- release it. it. And they re-released it. And it made like $80,000. And it sank again without a trace. So good. The thing is, the biggest thing that happened so to it, good. the biggest and best thing that happened to it, was that Tom Holland, after he was doing a press junket, right? Yeah. For like six hours in a hotel room in London. Yeah. He's bored out his fucking ass. Yeah. And he, he and they go, oh, who would you, who's a crossover you want to do? And he's like, I, I, it'd be quite cool to do a Morbius crossover. Bang! It was like, oh, Tom Holland saying, saying Morbius is good. He's like, you know, I, don't, I didn't say that. I said the concept of Morbius, the character, would be great. The film that not you... Not Jared Leto. Not, 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 not Jared Leto. Not oh. J- Jared. Oh. Jared, 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 please. A, a film Can has just come out stop. called Elvis. Oh, I, yeah, I know. I auditioned for that film, and guess what year I auditioned for that film? Not for Elvis, though. Yes. You auditioned for Elvis? In 2014, and that film was called The Last Train to Memphis. And it had way been, better name. It, way better name! And it had been in pre-production in 2014 for 
five years by that point. Jesus Christ. And Scorsese had been attached to it and it didn't know whether it was going to be a TV show, didn't know it was going to be a film. And then eventually, all these years later, Baz Luhrmann picks it up and it's like... Fine. He's a good director there, to be fair. I like Baz Luhrmann a lot. And I, I don't know he... how I feel about the movie. I mean, I, apparently the movie's like, okay. But I don't I think Elvis was interesting enough to make a film about him. He, I love Elvis. I do love Elvis. But I don't, so, I I'm think, a huge fan of but Elvis. I, but I do agree with you. I'm a huge fan yeah. of Elvis. But all these people, like like Johnny Cash was interesting enough to make Water the Line. And Water the Line is a yeah. brilliant movie. Way too long, but a brilliant yeah, movie. Yeah. Because Johnny Cash was... Like, he was a fucking... Is, he's a strange bloke before. He got famous later. Then he was a nasty bastard. Yeah. But always loved the same, like, Julia. It was mad. Elvis was just this, like, incredibly handsome, incredibly talented, so fucking out-and-out out fucking rock star. Had a bit of the army thing, fine. Mm. Had a hashed, hashed fucking movie career trying to be James Dean. The and movie career was hilarious, though. I do enjoy his movies for that reason. They're bad movies. Never seen them. They're really bad movies. He can't act, bless him. But, like, there's some element of, like, pop, like, culture, kitsch sort of Pardon. element to it. It's like, and you're like, you're watching me like, oh, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a part, I think it's the movie called Blue Hawaii, where he, it's a bit weird, actually. He's a bit noncy. He takes a girl to discipline her, and he spanks her. Mm. And she must be 14. Yeah. It's unacceptable on it camera, was, was, Elvis. Was, and he's about, he's deep into his 30s at that point. Well, was he? Because Elvis, do you know what age he died? No, I don't. It was like in his fifties. No, he was forty-two years old. Ooh. El- Elvis Presley. Google an image of Elvis Presley, like in the late seventies. Right, he is out of shape. He is so Pretty, fucking yeah. fat. Oh man! And he was so. What? This is quite gross. When they when they did his no. autopsy, they found up to three months worth of like stool that hadn't like come out of him. <sighs> Because he was so constipated oh, from his, like, his drugs and like, it's like, he was 42, bruv. He was fucking young. He died, I mean, yeah, he died like, on the loo, didn't he? And, yeah, like, literally, literally. Jesus heart attack. Christ. Like, and he was consuming like about 10,000 calories a day. If there is one lesson that you take from these lectures, and they are like this, is don't eat that much food in a, a day. Like, even, even how, no matter how much money you're on, no matter how many people are singing your songs. Although don't, they, Eat that much. They do Eat say about half, Elvis, which is quite romantic, was that even when he was fat, about to have a heart attack, dying, apparently when he did that final show, he, he, still, electric. he still had the yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's I like the coolest thing ever. Like the idea that your whole everything else about you, but the thing that made you amazing, your performance and your voice was is that I think that's, that's what cool. they say about you and I. Like, oh they're fat, they're lazy, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're you know, they're filming out yeah. of a bedroom. They've still got the gags, haven't they? They've still, still, still got the electric. They'll still make a little quim and everyone will go, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's, you can't touch it. On that note, we have 30 seconds left. In the same way that Mike Tyson will still not go at any age. I know, he's pretty good, isn't he? Last final message for the fans. It's called The Truth Doesn't Rhyme. It's called The Truth Doesn't Rhyme. And you will be hearing that phrase. You thought 30 seconds often. was actually quite a short amount of time. And actually There's 15 more seconds. It's I don't been know. going on forever. Fuck me.